So I became a millionaire when I was 31 years old, and I currently have a business generating over $160,000 per month, and it's growing every single month. And in this video, I'm going to cover the seven key lessons that I wish that I had when I was 20 years old to basically achieve this a lot faster. And the first lesson is that you should just create a goal, because something that I've realized is that most people on this earth, they don't have a goal. They're like a boat in a harbor, just going around and around, and they don't know what they're doing with their life. So if you're in your early 20s and you simply create a goal, and you just start working towards that goal, you will be that boat that actually leave the harbor and actually do something with your life and you actually achieve that thing. And the way you create a goal is super simple. And I see most people just overcomplicate it. Everything that you need is a desire, something that you want to accomplish, something that you want to do. And you can find that if you sit down and think about it for like five minutes and you don't get distracted by your phone, you use a pen and a paper and you just write down exactly what it is that you want, when you want to achieve this thing, how you want to achieve this thing, and then finally, what you will give back when you actually do achieve this thing. And the most important thing when you have your goal is to actually review it twice per day, all right? So you read it every single morning after you wake up, but before you leave the bed, and then before you go to bed, you review this goal, you read it out loud. And even better, if you can envision this goal, if you can actually close your eyes and use your imagination to see and feel, what it will look like or feel like when you actually get your goal, that is like the key thing. And I don't care if you think this sounds like stupid or mumbo jumbo, I thought that as well when I started doing this, but what happens when you start to actually read this goal over and over and over again, first of all, you start to memorize this goal. So you, like you can start to go and repeat this goal when you're out or walking or in the gym, you can actually repeat this goal over and over and over in your head. And when you do that, it starts to seep into your subconscious mind. And when that happens, sometimes you will dream about it. But the most important thing that happens is that you start to think differently. And when you think differently, you will start to act differently. And you will start to do things that you've never done before. And also, when you have this goal in your subconscious mind, your brain is working on this thing 24 seven, pretty much all the time. So you will start to get ideas and you have no idea where they're coming from. They're like, oh, I should probably do this thing. Or maybe I should try this thing. So you start to get an intuition that is guiding you. And all you have to do when that happens it's just to take action on that intuition and then just do that over and over and over again. You're basically feeding your mind with what you want to achieve. You're building, you're reprogramming your subconscious mind and then your intuition or your gut feeling will tell you what to do next. I know it sounds crazy, but it 100% works. The sooner you can do this, the better. Lesson number two I have for you is to invest in yourself. You do that especially in the beginning and you do that as you continue as well. Because most people don't want to invest into anything. They much rather buy a computer for $2,000 or a bunch of games or gamble or go out, go out partying and or just doing a bunch of useless stuff that's not gonna get you anywhere. Or buy super expensive clothes or they save up for a car and then they buy that car and then it's half value and doesn't ha help you at all. The most powerful thing you can invest into when you're starting out. It's not the SMP, but it's the SME. That's what Alex Mosey calls it. So rather than investing in the SMP 500, I invest in the SME 500. Invest into yourself. You need to invest into this thing. This is your brain. This is your supercomputer. This is the thing that will guide you and take you forward in life. It's your IP, your intellectual property, your experience, your knowledge, and your skills. And what's cool now about the internet is that there's a bunch of people out there on, on the internet who's making a lot more money than you. There are a lot more successful than you. They've all been in the online business game or whatever it is that you want to achieve for five, 10, 20 years, and they're sharing it in online courses and you can access it from the comfort of your own home. It's absolutely insane. So if you just save up some money, you can actually learn from them. It's huge. And this is what will fast track your success and it will build up your IP and it will help you to make more money and build the business a lot faster. And just to give you a real life example, this is how I got started out. I spent my last $2,000 on a course by a guy called Sam Ovens. The course was called Consulting Accelerator. I basically learned the business fundamentals, how to find a market, how to find a product market fit, how to create a service, how to identify what people actually want to buy, and, and then learning how to sell and how to do marketing. All of these things I learned from this course, and I'm still using the knowledge from that course to this day. 
Lesson number three, which I wish that I did a lot sooner, is just to fix yourself first. Because it all comes down to the fundamentals. It all comes down to the basics, right? Because a business is just people. So the more powerful the people are, the better the people are, the more optimized they are, and the better they work together, the better the business will be. And in the beginning, you are gonna be the business because you're gonna be yourself, right? You're not gonna have a bunch of employees or team or anything like that, right? If you become better, then your business will become better. If you have more energy to put into your business, the output in your business will be better as well. So then the question becomes, how do you become better, right? How do you fix yourself? Very simple. You go back to the basics. It's sleep, it's diet, and it's exercise. For example, this changed everything for me. When I started to fix my sleep, basically go to bed at 10, wake up at seven, getting eight hours of solid sleep, and not just one night, but every single night after each other, I started to wake up with energy. Who knew? I was actually happy. I was excited. I had more energy than I needed. So when I went to the gym, I could put more energy into the gym. When I wanted to learn something new, I could actually learn it. I wasn't tired. I didn't get distracted. If I was working on my business, I could put a lot more energy into that business. If I'm recording a video like I do right now, I can put more energy into the video. Energy is literally everything that you have. The more energy that you have, the more you will create and the more powerful you will be. And the easiest way to fix your energy is to fix your sleep. Same thing with the diet. If you're just eating a bunch of shit, a bunch of sugars, you're drinking like fizzy drinks. If you just fix your diet and start to eat a little bit better, if you know how much you should eat or shouldn't eat, and then just stick to get some discipline in the area, will be huge for you as well. And with diet, it's more so what you don't eat than what you actually do eat. Like just cut away the bad stuff and you will be very good off. And then same thing with exercise. Just find something that you enjoy. If you don't like to go to the gym, don't go to the gym. I think you should still go to the gym to get some, like actually lift some weights. But if you don't like that, start to do some climbing, do the bike, you know, go for a swim. If you love to run, do that. If you play, whatever it is that you enjoy, just do that, at least move. And walking is a great as well. So fix your sleep, go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time, clean up your diet, and then just like do some type of exercise. This is massive, it's absolutely huge. And I wish that I did this a lot sooner. The fourth lesson that I have for you is just to copy what works. This is like the easiest business lesson there is. It's the best business lesson there is. And it's the one that works the absolute best. So. Instead of you trying to figure out everything yourself and doing something that is completely unique, just copy what works. And Apple, or Tim Cook rather, the CEO of Apple, he recently said in an interview that they are not trying to be the first, they're just trying to be the best. Well, our objective is never to be first. Mm -hmm. Our objective is to be best. So they don't care if they're gonna be the first creating this new unique product. They just wanna identify what the market wants, what people want out there, and then they just wanna make the best product out of that. And let me give you another example, right? This guy called Faroon, who recently won a business contest called the School Games. He made over $65,000 in one month in monthly recurring revenue. and. Four months prior to that, he was broke, by the way. He was in debt. Kind of skeptical of even like 650K a month. I was like, yeah, we'll get there, but like maybe not in a year. But now I think we even get to, I mean, in a month, in a year. Yeah. And I was in debt, <laughs> December 23. So he was in debt. Four months later, he made $65,000 in monthly recurring revenue in one month. How did he do that? Well, he just saw somebody else who was running a business that he found interesting. He basically saw exactly how they was running that business, what type of marketing were doing, how they were doing their sales, uh, how they positioned themselves in the marketplace. He was like, hmm, interesting. I'm just gonna do exactly what they do, but I think I can do it better. So he copied them, and four months later, he was making $65,000 per month. Faroon's little brother as well, he's a genius when it comes to YouTube Shorts. He's crushing it on YouTube Shorts. So I asked him like, how do you do that? And he told me the same thing. I just copy what works. I find a short that is viral, and then I basically do the same thing. I copy the essence of that short and I just do it slightly different. I do it slightly better. So this is a huge business lesson. Instead of you to try to figure out exactly what to do, something unique, just find somebody else in the marketplace who is selling something to a group of people, AKA the market, and then you copy them and you try to make it slightly different. Don't reinvent the wheel, simply copy what works. This is huge. Lesson number five for you is to start to invest your money. And as I said before, the first thing that you should invest into is not the S&P 500, but it's the S and me, right? You should invest in yourself. You should 
increase the value of your own brain, right? Your IP, your intellectual property. Buy courses, buy coaching, start a business, make some money, invest in more help, and just do that until you feel like you will get to a point where you're like, ah, now I, I've kind of heard this before. You will get to a point where you know that you can't really invest in much more that will get you much further. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars into coaching, consulting, masterminds, all of that stuff. And I would never have been able to become a millionaire unless I actually invested my money into myself first, right? But then again, you will get to a point where you feel like you know enough. But then eventually you will have more capital, right? The money in your bank account will just increase every single month. And that's when you can start to look into investing into other assets, right? You can invest into low cost index funds like the S&P 500 or in individual stocks, or you can invest into crypto like Bitcoin. Like I'm not here to tell you what to invest into or any financial advice or anything, but my main key lesson here, right? Is that the faster or the sooner you can learn about investments, the better. Because I've heard about horror stories from entrepreneurs. They made a bunch of money. They made millions of dollars throughout their career. Then they turn 50 and they have nothing left, right? They've just been spending it on an expensive house and expensive cars and a bunch of masterminds and a bunch of ads and courses. And then they bought this thing and then that thing. And then they, they turn 50 and they have nothing left to show for it. Worst case scenario, they built up this super expensive lifestyle for themselves that's just eating up their money and that creates a lot of stress because then their business dies out a bit and they start to generate less money because that's always how business goes. It goes in ebbs and flows. It goes ups and down. You you have a growth period where you generate a lot of money and then the business kind of dies out unless you reinvent it, right? So that's just how it is. And if you don't learn how to invest your money, if you're not smart with your money, if you're spending your money on a bunch of useless, dumb stuff like clothes or cars or whatever it is and you just blow it, there will come a day when you have nothing left to show for it. And that is a scary, 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 scary day. So I highly recommend that as soon as you start to make more money than you really need to invest in yourself into your business, then learn how to invest your money smartly. That's how you become wealthy over time. Lesson number six is to do more of what works. Don't do new things, just do more of what works. And what I mean by that is that as you go on this journey to achieve your goal, whether that it's like make money online or start a business or whatever it is, you will test a bunch of stuff. That's just how it is at the beginning. You would test this, then it will not work, then you will test that thing and it doesn't work, but eventually you will start to find things that actually work and some things will work really, really, really well. Whether that's in terms of like marketing for your business or sales in your business, or maybe it's a content strategy. Maybe you're just like, you've tested TikTok, didn't work. You've tested Instagram, you didn't really get it. And then you test YouTube and it's hard, but then you find that YouTube video and it's actually working. It's generating views and it's generating attention. It's generating, you know, traffic to that business that you're building on or whatever it is. And this is where you need to remember this rule. Double down on what works. Instead of you then trying to figure out how to do Instagram, when you have YouTube that is working, just ignore everything else and then just focus on YouTube. Ask yourself, how can I do more of YouTube and how can I do it better, right? So instead of doing new things to grow, doing TikTok and Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter, like how can I do more of that other stuff and figure that out to grow? Just focus on the thing that is currently working and just do more of that. Can I create two videos per week instead? Can I make them even better? Can I increase my retention on the videos? Can I reach more people? Can I like, how can, can I convert more people? Like how can I make what's currently working even better, right? Or in our case, when we're doing sales calls for our business, that is working really well. So instead of us trying to figure out how to do a DM strategy or a webinar or whatever it is, right? We're just trying to figure out, okay, the sales calls are working. How do we make those sales calls just better? Can we, how can we do more of them? Can we have higher quality calls? Can we pre-qualify them? Um, and how can we, can we improve our sales script? How can we do it better? So instead of trying to do new things, just do more of what works and make it better. And then the seventh and the final lesson that I have for you is to never lose momentum. Because as you go on this journey, you have your goal, right? You start to work towards that goal. You start to get some success. You identify what's working. You start to double down on that thing that is working. And now everything is starting to finally work, right? It's growing. You're excited and you're making more money. You're getting more leads. You're getting more business and all, all of these things, right? When you're in that spot, when you're in that place, don't take it for granted, right? Don't lose momentum because first of all, 
there's always somebody else coming. Because when they see that what you're doing, it's working, they will try to copy you, right? Just what I told you to do, to copy what works. When you see somebody else that is succeeding, you will try to copy them. Same thing will happen when you succeed with your thing. People will notice that. They will try to copy what you do and make it better. They will try to steal your success. They will try to steal your customers because that's just how business works. That's the beauty of it. It's competitive, right? So when you do find that thing that works, don't take it for granted. That's the time when you work even harder, right? The day you think that you can lean back and just relax, that's the day where you lose everything because that's the day somebody else comes out there and just steals it from you. This illusion that you can just work an hour per day or this thing that business is easy or this thing that you like, you can just outsource it to somebody else and just have a lifestyle where you're just like not doing anything and making a bunch of money. Sure, later on when you just have a huge business and you've outsourced everything and you have a bunch of employees and you have a bunch of like CEOs in your company runs it for you. Sure, that might be the scenario then or you make a huge exit or whatever it is, right? But like business takes work. So don't let anybody on YouTube try to tell you that it's easy or you can do this thing for two minutes and you're gonna make a bunch of money. That's not how it works. Every single entrepreneur that I know that make a lot of money, they work a lot, right? But they also love it. They absolutely love it. I love this thing. The reason why I work super hard in my business is not necessarily because of the money. It's because I love what I do. What else would I do, right? So when you get to that place where you actually have something that is working, you enjoy it and you make money. Don't take it for granted and don't lose momentum. You are basically forced to continuously innovate because if you don't do it, somebody else would do it before you and then they will come and steal your lunch and steal your money and steal your business. So those are basically the seven lessons that helped me become a millionaire. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then 100% make sure that you check out this video as well. And if you haven't already, make sure that you like this video, subscribe and also leave a comment below what you thought of it and let me know what you wanna see in the next video because I will read and reply to as many comments as I possibly can. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.